Now for the event handling, you can pass a on click event. Okay, now here it's like a requirement you want to show text in the icon also. So you can pass a title, attribute, and Hello everyone, this is the continuity of LWC based lightning component. In this video, we will see Salesforce navigation component. In Salesforce lightning, there are components available to organizing content and helping user move through the app efficiently. The components like lightning button, which is a clickable element to start an action. Another is the lightning tab set, which organizes content into switchable section on one page. And third one is the lightning accordion, which hide and show content in expandable and collapsible panel to save space. So in LWC, the lightning button based component provides several type of buttons that can be used across the UI. The main button type are normal buttons, button groups, button icons, and button menu. Let's first look at the normal buttons. To create a normal buttons, we need to use the lightning button tag. Now, by passing different attributes on lightning button, you can change the style and behavior of the button. Let's look the variant attribute. Here in the variant, you can pass a different values which will eventually display the your lightning button. Here in variant attribute, you can pass different values. Now here we will use a base. Base variant which will make the, your button look like a link. And in the label, what text you want to display, you need to pass here. And let's save it, refresh. And here you can see that there is a link lightning button. So it look like a link, but actually it's a lightning button. Now, for the event handling, you can pass a on click event. It's a normal JS event. And here you need to pass a your handler function. Now we need to make this event handler function in our JS. Here we will add an alert. Let's save it. Now refresh. Let's click on button. And you can see that our event handling is executing. So if you don't specify any variant, the button defaults to the neutral variant, which appear as a simple button with a border. Let's look that one. Here we removed a variant. We didn't pass any variant here and save it, refresh. And you can see that button with a border. Now let's look another variant value. First, we will see a variant brand. Now variant brand identify the primary action in the group of button which appear in blue. Let's save it and refresh. Here you can see that button appears in blue and clickable it's working now. Another variant is the brand outline. It's a lighter version of primary button with a blue outline but no fill. Here we will pass a brand outline. Save it, refresh. Here you can see that brand outline variant button. Now we will see a destructive button. Destructive variant represents a negative action like appear in a dark red. Let's pass the destructive value here. Save it, refresh. And you can see that the button appear in a dark red. Now we will also pass a destructive text. Destructive text variant is a lighter version of a destructive action button fill which appear a red text, no fill. So here destructive text. Text variant, save it, refresh, and you can see that the button appears with no fill but the text is in red color. Now the last variant which we will see in the lightning button is a success. If we will pass a success variant, it represents a successful action which appears in a green. Let's save it, refresh, and here you can see that button appears in a green which means it's a successful action. Now let's look another button type which is a button group. A button group displayed related buttons together in a horizontal or vertical layout. For the button group, we will use a lighting button group tag. Here, we will use lightning button group tag. Now, in the lightning button group tag, place your button inside it. Like we will, so, so in the lightning button group, you need to pass your lightning button, which you want to show buttons together in a horizontal. So here, I will copy this button, lightning button, one, two, and three. Now here, I will pass different variants, like one is a success, Another is we will pass a brand and we will pass here base. Now here we will change the value also label, refresh, edit and save. We will pass save here. It will be a refresh. Let's save it and refresh. Here you can see that our three buttons showing together. It's a lightning button action. Here I will put BR for the break and you can easily identify the lightning button group. Here you can see that it's this is the lightning button group which displays a little button to 
together. Let's look another button type which is a lightning button icons. Now to show icon inside a button we need to use lightning button icon component. Let's use it. Here we will use a lightning button icon. Now to show icon inside the button we need to pass a icon name attribute and specify the icon. Now here I will show the setting icon so I am using utility colon settings. Now all available icons can be found in the Salesforce lightning design system. Let's save it. Refresh. Here you can see that lightning button icon. Now it's your requirement that like you want to also show text in the lightning button icon. So we can also pass a label attribute setting save and refresh. Okay. In, now here it's like a requirement you want to show text in the icon also. So you can pass a title attribute and here you want to pass a text value. Save it. Refresh. So this is the lightning button icon. Now we will see a lightning button menu. A button menu display additional menu items when the user click the parent button. For this we have a lightning button menu tag which we will use. Now uh, in the lightning button menu component place menu items inside it by using lightning menu item. Now we need to pass some attributes like in lightning button menu you need to pass value and label. Label will display on your UI and value when you will click the value will be in get in the our code in JS. Now let's save it. There is an error. Let's see what's the error. There is a spell mistake here. So we will add lightning and now let's save it. So it's successfully save and refresh. Here you can see that it's a drop down icon and when we click its item is showing here. So this is the lightning button menu. Now we will see another component which is a lightning tab. So a lightning tab set is a container that hold multiple section of content only one of which is visible at a time. Like it uses a row of clickable tabs like the tail related news at the top of let user quickly switch between those different content views without leaving the page. Let's light make the lightning tab set. Now to make a lightning tab set you need to write lightning tab set tag. Now in the lightning tab set you need to pass a one tag like a lightning tab. So this is our one tab and in the tab we will pass a label attribute like news and your content will come here like one content. Now we will make another tab also and here we will enter like a details detail content. We will also make another tab and here in the label we will pass a related. Let's save it. There is an error. Let's check what's the error. There is spell mistake. Let's save it. Let's save it. Refresh. Now here you can see the tab set here. It's a news showing it this content. It's showing a related contact. So you can see that our lightning tab set which we use the component here. This is the main container that hold the entire tab interface. All individual tabs which we make by using our lightning tab must be placed inside the lightning tab set. Now the la last we will see the lightning accordion. So lightning accordion is a component that display a list of headings that can be expanded or collapsed to show or hide the content under them. Like you can think it's a stack of foldable panels. It is used to show a lot of information in a compact space and letting the users choose which section they want to view. So in LWC we have a lightning accordion tag which we will use here. So this is a lightning accordion. So this is the main container for the entire collapsible component. Inside this we will pass our lightning accordion section. Now for lightning accordion se section we have tag lightning accordion section. Now here we need to pass some attributes like name label name and label which will display on the, our UI and also use our in the web accessibility. Now we can pass label accordion section A and in the name you can pass pass anything which will be used in the web accessibility. And here you can pass the accordion content. We will make another lightning accordion section and here we will make a B. It's a section B and section B content. It's C and it's a accordion section C. Let's save it. Refresh. Here you can see that it make a accordion section. It's accordion one. If I click on accordion to second one it claps the first one and open the second one. So if I clicked on according section C it will expand this section C and hide another one. So this is all about our navigation component. Thank you and please subscribe.